<laughs> so welcome uh, Kwanians and our special guest uh, today is Indiana District Governor Bruce Andrews and his lovely wife. Thank you guys for making the trek down here. Good Very morning. much appreciate that. Uh, Bruce, would you like to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I you can do it from up here or there, wherever well, you'd like. From your side. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mary Marsh? I think today, um, instead of our normal invocation, I'd like to have a moment of silence in memory of Marjo Laughlin, who passed away last Friday and who meant so much to this club, and it meant so much to her, too. So if we could take a moment of silence. Marge was the, I think you can be seated. Marge, I'll just say a few words, and if anyone else wants to share any thoughts about Marge, I'd be happy to hear them. Um, I had known Marge for my whole career at the bank. She was state treasurer at the time, and we, at Merchants, we dealt, of course, with the state and the treasurer a lot. So I knew Marge from a political life, but I really got to know her very well when she retired from her job and I retired from mine and we lived not far from each other. So she was my passenger uh, down here for every meeting for many, many years. Um, and I said, I probably wouldn't have made that trek all the way from Glendale down to city center here if it hadn't been for her company. Um, and she loved this club. Um, the Zoom meetings, I think she especially loved because she could hear them so well. Uh, the Zoom sound came over unbelievable and we would sit down at our table in my kitchen with my husband and we would enjoy the camaraderie before that. Um, but Marge was a special person. She, she really got into politics because she had to support a family. She had seven children, um, was divorced and uh, was a, a huge fan of Dick Luger, went to school with him at Shortbridge and uh, they were great friends. She's the one who helped us get uh, Senator Luger to be our speaker at our, at our uh, centennial dinner um, at the State Museum. Uh, she got speakers at our basketball banquet for years and years because she kept all those contacts. Um, another weekly event that she really loved is a fellow in her neighborhood who's part of the old Republican Guard and told her that uh, they still met at Binkley's um, every Wednesday in the back room, that special little room. There. And he would pick her up and take her, and she just had great fun rubbing elbows with all of her old chums from the uh, Republican Party that went back, way back when. But she, she was a wonderful uh, role model for women um, and for anyone. Um, you know, she, she was very proud to be a Kwanian and she loved coming here every single week. Um, if I would call and leave a message, she always returned my call. She didn't remember some other things, but uh, unfortunately she, she was failing in the last couple, couple of weeks and months. Um, but I saw her, uh, she was at the cottages in Carmel on 126th Street, and I happened to have gone to see another <coughs> person as well. I did sit down with March. She was perfectly capable of carrying on a conversation. Um, mentioned Kiwanis, um, told me to be sure and say hi to my husband, John. And um, she passed, I think, peacefully after a traumatic event. But she loved this club, and I know that we all loved her, and uh, we will miss her very much. So say your prayers. The calling is from 1 to 5 at Leopard uh, Mortuary on 86th Street in Nora on Monday. So I know we'll see a lot of our friends there. Thank you. I think I could have said any of that better. Sure. Thank you. Can you uh, move the microphone oh. up? Thank you. Yes. I will try to get louder as well. Uh, a few club announcements before we get into the festivities. 
Uh, we'd like to thank the 81 individuals that have recommended, uh, oh, recommitted, sorry, I can't read. I'm gonna get better at this too. Uh, recommitted to the club for this coming year by paying their dues. Uh, we appreciate the prompt payment so that we can submit our roster to Qantas International uh, that's due in just a few days. Uh, we also appreciate all of the members, especially those celebrating five years with Qantas anniversaries this week, Jason Burke and Brian Deddy. Jason orchestrates the Lawrence and Nasil, 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 thank you. Uh, East Scholarship Program, which is possible from the generous gift uh, from the Qantas Jerry East, from Kwani and Jerry East in 1997. Uh, we received 33 applications for grant funding from the Qantas Foundation of Indianapolis for 2023. An external grant review committee is being formed to review these requests and make recommendations to the foundation board. Uh, let Kelly know if you're interested in participating. Reviewing those grants is a tremendous way to see some of the priorities and uh, issues going on in our community and really understanding the ways that we as Kwanians can have a direct impact on those. So please join the committee. Uh, it's not a whole lot of work. Uh, we'll hold about a one hour virtual meeting after you review the applications to make those selections. Abe Lincoln Chair Wendy Paddock is beginning plans for this coming spring's uh, scholarship lunch. It will take place in February. Not only is this our signature community project, but it's so rewarding to invest in these uh, precious found invest these precious foundation dollars in the future of young people. Uh, you can reach out to Wendy to get involved. There is no meeting next week as we volunteer for Coats for Kids uh, sorting event. Um, all week at the fairgrounds. If you're able to lend a hand for that, please uh, check the website and sign up for an opportunity. And then we'll be back at the Columbia Club on October 27th, where we'll have a chance to visit with the Black Hat Society from Historic Irvington just ahead of their Halloween festival. Uh, Carol, I'd like to invite you up to the podium to introduce uh, Bruce to us. honored today because our new district governor Bruce Andrews has uh, come to our meeting and I'd like to specifically thank him for being here and invite him to let us know if we can do anything to assist any of his um, dreams or projects and uh, all of us I'm sure will be more than happy to um, to, to, to do whatever you would ask us to do. We'll be so, um, Mr. Bruce Andrews is going to swear in our new board members and thank those of uh, us who are leaving the board. Okay. <laughs> do we have any of our new board members here? Take it off the stand. Handle, it's easier with the short. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. There it comes. Does that help? Oh, yeah. You're okay? That makes a difference anyway. <laughs> the director's going off the board. David Young is not here. Um, you know, I'm sure all of you know that. Uh, a thank you to David for his service. Uh, if those of you are not aware, and I'm a little off script probably, but forgive me, uh, the board is the administrating body of the club. Uh, they make the decisions as to where you're going, what's doing, under the direction, of course, of the president and vice president and other officers. Uh, thank you to Max Harper, who again, uh, don't believe Max is here. Um, as our past secretary, uh, 
The secretary is probably, and I've told a lot of people as I visited different clubs, I think the secretary is the most difficult position with Kiwanis. And I, I don't want to do that to discourage anyone from, from filling in as president. That's not the intent. But it is one of those thankless things uh, that take uh, a lot of behind the scenes activities and what's going on. Coming on to the board, uh, we can now uh, install those that are joining, continuing the board of directors. This will be for a three year term. Uh, as your names are called, if you'd please come forward, we'd appreciate that. Uh, as I mentioned, most of the businesses of the club are conducted by the board. Uh, so you're assuming a significant responsibility. Uh, you, as a board, determine the policies and the activities of the club, club, as well as approving the budget and payment of bills. Council committees work with many different activities. Approve members, new members uh, are go before the board for approval, and generally manage the club. I uh, congratulate each of you. If you would step forward, please. Bill Du Bois. Bill and I. Have some. And Laura Holloway. Laura, good morning. Uh, Jackie Clancy is not here. Duke Haddard and Chuck Cotterman, I guess, are not here at this time. And then Max Harper as a new board member. Is Max here? Not here. Okay. Let's see. We go to our incoming secretary then is Kelly Holes. Is Kelly here? Yeah. Oh, yes. The club secretary is the master of details. That's what it says here, and I agree with that. It's just to talk about an in-depth, detailed job. A demanding job is it requires patience, diligence, and sometimes even a sense of humor. And I think we've seen that from Kelly many times. You must work after the details of the club and board meetings, reports, dues collection, records, correspondence, and other items necessary to the smooth functioning of the club. Your active interest and involvement in all club matters will be vital to the club's success in the year ahead. It is with pride that I install you as secretary and ex officio secretary of this club. And have a good. Thank you so much. No, it's official. It is official. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our treasurer, Roger Cummings, is out of country, I believe, is, is my understanding. We had, by the way, a uh, Indiana District Board meeting, and our Indiana District Board is comprised of all the lieutenant governors from the 24 divisions around the state of Indiana. And uh, Roger was and he, a very good reason for being gone. But he was one of the few that weren't there. We had a nice, good meeting and I got a lot accomplished. Immediate past president is Carol Orisman. Would you like that? Can you come forward, please? Your club benefits from the immediate past president continuing for one more year as a member of the board of directors. And had they told you that? Okay, you're welcome to board. By the way, that's not uncommon, but we do appreciate that. Your experience as club president this past year will empower you to be an essential mentor and colleague for your successor and a valued uh, advisor on the business of the club. It's my pleasure to, pre to present, to charge you, hmm, it is my pleasure to charge you with sharing your wisdom and lending a hand as you remember a member of the board for one more year. Congratulations to you on your excellent work as dedicated service this past year. We thank you for your continued dedication to the club. If we could rise and thank Carol, it would be great. Thank you.
President-elect Nancy, oh boy, Horrocks? Am I close? Okay. For me to be close is an accomplishment. You're okay. You've been selected to lead your club during the following year. Uh, you serve on the board this year. Take advantage of the opportunities to learn about the president's role, build relationships, and plan your year as president, which is going to come pretty quick. Uh, I'm sure you're aware how time moves. You must be prepared to carry on the duties of that office and be available if and when the president is absent. Please listen to my charge to the president, for those words will benefit you also. Thank you for your leadership and dedication, Nancy. I formally install you to the office of President-elect and wish you well. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Can hear this. Thank you so much. Welcome to work. President Trenna, Roudenbush? Routerbush. Routerbush, okay. Close I should have rehearsed these earlier, I spoke. Do you see how I fumbled through it, too? <laughs> You've been elected to the highest office that, can, office that can be bestowed upon a member of the club. With this honor goes a great amount of responsibility. The club felt you should assume this challenge, for they've not placed you in this position. To no small degree, the success of your club is coming this coming year Will depend upon the leadership you display in conducting club and board meetings and the counseling and inspiration given to your many committees. Listen to your members, for they are the heartbeat of the club. Listen to your fellow officers, for they are experienced leaders. Listen to your district and international leaders, for they are in a position to help ease your load. You can be a great president, I know. Accept the challenge with an open mind towards growth and service. Conduct your meetings with dignity, but in it all, be certain to have some fun. We're in Kiwanis, and it needs to be partly fun. It is my great pleasure to present Trina as the new president of the Kiwanis Club of Indianapolis. everybody up before the meeting and can put them back to sleep. Uh-oh. So, it's there. It's there. Thank you so much. Uh, I congratulate your club for the excellent uh, board directors, officers installed today. Uh, regret we've missed several, but I'm sure they'll be here in the future and we can do that official installation at some time. Thanks to each and one of you uh, for stepping into your leadership roles, uh, whatever it might be. And I'm guessing some of you have served in the past, uh, and some of you will be serving in the future. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I can assure you that the complete cooperation and assistance of the division, district, and Kiwanis International officers and committee chairman is there, is available. And that I can do in person without a script. I can tell you that the, the, the district and Kiwanis International who I happen to be close to uh, are, are there to help in, in so many ways. Matter of fact, our, I stopped at the international office on my way down here this morning, and the international board, members representing Kiwanis from around the world are meeting there today. Uh, they're discussing what our future and how it's going to handle, what's going to happen. Uh, their intent and their dedication uh, is phenomenal. Kiwanis. Uh, Burt West, who is our incoming, and I'll reference that here in a few minutes, but our incoming international president is a super guy and down to earth and real and pure Colorado. <laughs> he is really there. Okay. Graham? Is Graham here? Okay. Yes, he is. That's Graham. Graham is representing our past president's council. I am. That's yeah, neat. I like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Okay, good afternoon everybody, how we doing? Great. Okay. Taylor, it's great to see you back. Can we count on you every week now? Yeah, if you want all the boys. I already have two. The, uh, so last week we gave Trina advice for her incoming year and hopefully you watched. We're actually going to quiz you in the last 10 minutes to <laughs> what did you know, so and so say, so be ready. But we, had, we had two past presidents who were not able to attend and they're going to come up and lecture, uh, excuse me, they're going to give you advice uh, here. So I'm going to first call on Tom Eubank to uh, come up and, and give Trina some advice here. Sure. Sure. I know. I'll send you the video. Hey, I appreciate that. I really will. Trina, I'll say to you what I uh, um, sent, sent to uh, Coley <coughs> to uh, give advice, and that is. Uh, make use of the uh, past presidents. Um, some of us uh, uh, are good about attending, some of us not so good. But uh, uh, I, I think there's a lot of wisdom, uh, obviously a lot of experience, and um, uh, draft them if you have to. But uh, you kind of give them a kick in the pants if you want. And uh, get your past presidents. <laughs> um, there must be what 15 or 20 of us that are still around and members. And I only see a couple right here. So let's let's get the rest of them. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to now call my good friend Mary Marsh. I'm going to say this so Mary doesn't get in trouble. But Trina, one of the pieces of advice. Mary wanted to share his don't schedule anything around Butler basketball games. Oh, agreed. Yeah. So Mary, come on up here. I'm not joking. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm wearing this in honor of Marge because she was cold at every meeting and I'm freezing. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm sorry, but I just looked at Taylor and I thought, oh, I have to tell Marge that Taylor was at the meeting today. And, and I won't be able to she do this. Anyway, Trina is such a, I, we see Trina at Hinkle Fieldhouse as much as we see her here, and she's everywhere in the community. I don't know how you do it all, but I, for one, am thrilled to have a younger generation in charge, and I, I look forward to your year. I, you have done so much for us already, and so much that I appreciate. All the speakers that you and Graham have gotten over the last couple of years are just phenomenal. So just continue doing the good things you're doing. Take us in some new directions. I love the fact that we're doing volunteer things. Unfortunately, I have out of town visitors this week, so I can't participate. But I know, and I I'm going to uh, I'm going to make a couple of remarks, and I apologize. I was running late. I got two big events tonight at Butler, but I, I did. I I regret missing the moment for Marge of Laughlin because she meant a lot to me and inspired my service to Kiwanis and, and impacted my presidency a lot. So I want to offer up my own thoughts, uh, just the tremendous Kiwani, and I'm planning to go to the visitation Monday, which I'm sure many of you are. So I, again, I'm remiss in, in getting to the invocation, but I, uh, she meant a lot to me. I'm going to offer Trina a couple of uh, words of wisdom. <laughs> although they're on the tape, which hopefully you watched. The, the opening one, which was still haunts me a little bit, was Karen Burns telling me this club's been going for 105 years, don't screw it up. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure at all. But the, the words of advice I would say is you're a tremendous leader. You're one of the best leaders I've encountered in all my years is to have confidence, in your leadership, to take risks, to take chances, to not be afraid to try new things, to again, do our best to come up with creative, inspiring programs. You know, we wanna do our best to fill every seat. We had a wonderful crowd uh, last week. How can we get folks in here? Because again, I, I've never walked out of a Kiwanis meeting not feeling better about the day in terms of what we're doing and, making an impact and, 
in trying to inspire others. And last but not least, I was the president during the pandemic, which was tough, but the great thing was they didn't have to see me in person. <laughs> but what I tried to do during that year is reach out as much as I could to individuals with phone calls, with notes. That should be done all the time by our president. We have members out there that we haven't seen that we miss, how can we get them back there? If you need, rely on us too, to reach out to those members. It's the old saying, it's much easier to retain a customer, an existing customer, than to find a new one. And we have, um, we have a long history with this club. I don't know if I mentioned, but don't screw that up. And uh, <laughs> let's, let's continue to grow into the so I'm going to read, I think all of us know Trina, but I'm going to read a little bit about her background. And I was told to skim it over, but I, she's done so much, I'm not going to skim it over. But she's been so involved and accomplished that we may go to 2 o'clock today. So. <laughs> a lot of work left. <laughs> so I'd like to share a little bit about Trina. She has a quote that she relies on, which is from Pete Buttigieg, which is, my plan is to make myself useful, and sometimes that takes you to really unexpected places. And she certainly made herself useful. She says she values information and experiences from conversations with strangers to looks behind the curtains at what makes an organization home. She, she chooses to be in environments that are collaborative, supportive, and purposeful whenever possible. And you might just find her on a three hour run. I tried keeping up with her a couple years ago and I made it for about five minutes. <laughs> her career has been a jungle gym, not a ladder, as Sheryl Sandberg says, enabling her to be an inquisitive champion of brands and causes to connect organizations, individuals, and solutions to create engaging and meaningful experiences, to build relationships, to lead teams, to convene communities and fantasize about being the chief of staff for President Barton sometimes all at the same time. In addition to creating connections and telling powerful brand stories, she engages with community. Through volunteerism and mentorship, she's passionate about supporting young adults as they find their voices, talents, and their own jungle gym ahead. I wanna tell you about the everything she's involved with, which reads a little bit like a novel. It was a joke. Uh, it's lengthy. It's lengthy. That was the point. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right. Yeah. She serves Central Indiana through commitments to the Indiana Sports Corp, the local organi organizing committee for the U.S. Swimming Olympic Trials, the Butler Alumni Association Board, the Girl Scouts Downtown Indy, and Indy Runners, among others. She has served Kiwanis in many ways, including Lieutenant Governor for the District, National Public Relations Work Group, Secretary of the Club and Foundation Boards, Program Committee Chair, Member of the Female Marion County Athletic Athlete Scholarship and Fostering Families Committees. Is there a Hall of Fame? You should probably be in the Kiwanis Hall of Fame. Not yet. You'll okay. Be the first okay. She also she also chaired the, the Centennial uh, Playground Project and related Circle K Day of Service in the Near West. Uh, we're near West Side neighborhood of Indianapolis. She lives downtown with her husband, Bob, and her dog, Jake. She works in community and governmental relations for uh, GeneX Solar and enjoys distance running and opportunities for continual learning. I don't know how she does all that, but she does. So a little bit about Trina, some things we've learned, some things we've known, and again, uh, we're thrilled and honored you're taking on this role as president. Before Trina comes up, Bruce, you have some, no, she's ready? Yeah, she can be happy. Okay, so without, without further ado, Trina. Thanks. Well, you'll hear enough from me throughout the year, so I'll be short on words today. The, the advice that's been given, I think, is gonna hold true and um, be incredibly important this year of seeking guidance, seeking opinions, uh, and more than anything, uh, 
I think really asking ourselves with every decision, does this help a child? Does this increase our membership? Does this help our community? If it does, we should run, run toward it. And I hope you guys will run toward it with me at any pace, Graham. <laughs> uh, but I truly appreciate the vote of support, uh, the words of encouragement, and all of the hard work that's going to come ahead, and all of the fun that we're going to have together. So thank you. I appreciate it. So I closing remarks? Perfect. Well, we'll have Bruce on first. Pardon? Bruce. Oh. Bruce, would you like to come back up? I, I can do that. Is there anything you'd if like you, to share with us? Well, add a couple Tell of Tell us items about the upcoming year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Trina, and thank you all. Uh, <clears throat> thank you especially for the opportunity of meeting with you here. Um, I have heard so many good things about the Indianapolis Downtown Club and was so anxious to be. I will be back especially after I had lunch. You guys eat well. <laughs> That's beside, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I, I just wanted to relate a little bit of Kiwanis, and I'm not sure how familiar you are with what Kiwanis is doing outside of your club and what's going on in the outside world. I'll make it as brief as I can. I, uh, no, 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 don't say that. <laughs> it could be, could be tomorrow afternoon. At our eight. I wouldn't want to do that to you. But Kiwanis, I, I like to look at the Kiwanis attitude from the top down. And I made mention earlier, our international president, uh, Burt West, is a, quite, the, quite the gentleman. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance yet. If you haven't, pick up your recent Kiwanis International magazine. And Burt's on the cover. Uh, there's a good article that talks about what his Kiwanis background is and what he's done. Uh, being a Kiwanis International President is probably beyond my comprehension, but he is tackling it, and it looks to be a looks to be a super year as he as he's with us and getting the thing done. The other one that is right behind and probably a little bit closer is Lee Kun Young. Uh, Lee, uh, and it's interesting. He is from Malaysia, and I have met with him a couple of times because he is our incoming vice president for Kiwanis International, but each officer and each board member, uh, actually trustees from Kiwanis International, are assigned a group of international districts to mentor, to, to touch with, to be with. It just so happens uh, that I refer to him as Friend Lee, uh, is our advisor. Uh, Malaysia is a challenge, okay? Uh, we had him at our board meeting this past weekend, and we put him early on the schedule. Uh, our board meeting convened at 10 a.m. Uh, we had him on there at 10.15. Uh, that was, and he was at home, uh, that was 10.15 p.m. his time. They are exactly 12 hours off from where we are. That's okay in calculations, but it's a challenge when it comes to sleep time. And he, he, he pledged to stick with it as long as he could, and he dropped off the Zoom connection about 11 or so, his time. So it, I don't blame him. It, it's a different call for him. Lee is at, uh, and the Lee in Malaysia, by the way, it's Lee Kong Young, but Lee is his formal or last name for us. So it's really, in, in English American, Kong Young Lee. But they refer to it the other way around. That's their, that's their way of their culture approaching it. Um, he said it's difficult, and most of their people address by the surname, and then usually put some def defining pronoun prior to that, to define adjective prior to that, to define what their relationship is, and. Uh, I, I picked up, I now call him Friendly, and it's working out well that way. You talk about a gentleman with enthusiasm. Uh, I, I hate to have to nail him down, uh, take a nail gun of some kind. There are, with those two, 15 trustees, 
that govern Kiwanis International. One of those, uh, and hopefully you're aware, Steve Ingram, a member of the Valparaiso Club, and uh, going strong, now at the second or third largest club in the world. Uh, they're, they're going bang gangbusters and doing a great thing for Kiwanis. Anyway, <coughs> Steve is uh, just recently, and then October 1st, last Saturday, he became uh, our representative trustee. Uh, there are 15 from around the world, uh, so it's a prestigious uh, position to be in. And we're hoping for Steve, I told Steve, uh, he was at our board meeting Saturday, and I told him we were looking for some favors. So hopefully we'll get some special treatment in Indiana. I doubt it, by the way, knowing <laughs> Steve, but it happens. To put Kiwanis into perspective, uh, starting at that big top view look, there are 537,000 adult and youth members of Kiwanis. That's a bunch of people. That's a bunch of people. Believe it or not, a little more than half of those are youth members of Kiwanis. Uh, so the youth portion of our program is a big portion of what we're doing. Many people don't know, but we are the largest youth sponsored program in the world. We are the biggest that there is out there. And that's going by number of clubs and the number of students or number of kids that are involved. So it's very good. A uh, little over 8,000 adult clubs and a little over 8,000 youth clubs in the world. A few more adult clubs than there are youth clubs, but just by 100 or so. In the world, we as Kiwanians contribute a little over 19 million service hours. <coughs> Try and wrap your arms around that for a moment. It is hard to comprehend what that really boils down to. But as you do your service projects and you submit your monthly report, those numbers are all tallied and put together and we come up with some pretty big numbers. That reflects 152,000 projects for touching people, mainly kids, through the Kiwanis program. 85 nations around the globe. I don't know how many of you grasp that. Again, take a look at the magazine. If you've not, and when it arrives, you know it's another magazine that comes. But boy, it's chock full of information. Help keep things into perspective for you as to what's going and what's happening. The Indiana District is coming off a very super year as we sort of jumped on a trampoline and coming off of COVID. And you can appreciate what that's like. Uh, the pandemic was a, was a royal pain, <laughs> to, to put it politely, uh, for many, many organizations and groups, uh, Kiwanis especially. And it makes it <coughs> difficult. A lot of what we enjoy is what we're getting right here. The opportunity to sit down, break bread together, have a discussion, talk about what we're doing. Um, our immediate past president, Taka Ogata, if you didn't have a chance to meet Taka, uh, you need to sometime. He is staying on and has volunteered to be our membership and new club growth chairperson. That is a blessing. Uh, he is a blessing to all of us and he'll be staying close. Taka right now, incidentally, is in California with a group and they're organizing three new uh, Kiwanis clubs. And I talked to them this morning, said they're doing well. Two of them look great. One of them um, might take a little longer to put together, but that's part of life, part of the way it works. Um, the membership in the state of Indiana has been tapering down, as you've probably seen, with many uh, volunteer organizations. We are in there with them. This year, the ending year that ended September 30th, a few days back, uh, we will hopefully, in the summary, the final numbers of that, aren't tallied until after October the 10th. So a little extension on the end of the year when it comes to membership. It'll probably be closer to October 15th or 20th before we have true official numbers. But it sure looks like now we may have a positive net gain for this past year. That'll be the first time that's happened in 10 years. Wow, and I like it, I like it. 
one of my goals during this next year is to help and assist clubs wherever I possibly can to do that again. We need to. There are kids out there that need serve. The only way that's ever going to happen is with feet on the ground and hands on the table. People doing things. And that might mean raising money, and it might mean handing out money, but more often it means working with kids. And that's where it all really makes a difference. The true, what I call, action level of Kiwanis is at this level where we're sitting today. Clubs make all the difference in the world. All the rest of everything else, the districts, the Indiana happens to be a district, but the Indiana district, the other districts around the world, the international organization, only have one purpose for existence, and that's for support. To help the clubs do what they're designed to do. To help you as a president, to help you as a treasurer, to help you as a secretary, uh, to, to get the job done. Get it done right and serve kids. Uh, it's so, so important. During this year, our intent, and my intent as your governor, is to help build, number one, new clubs. We have built a uh, our average for the last 10 years, by the way, you might find interesting, has been one and a half clubs a year in the Indiana district. Well, this last year, with Taka as our governor and others working with him, uh, and he'd be the first to admit, he didn't do it alone by any means, but we have built four new clubs. They're open and running and going. Our goal this year, my goal, we set for the division, is eight new clubs. Our intent is to double that. Two of those are well on their way today, and we have prospect locations for 12 more in addition to those two. Now, we know as we progress, some of those aren't going to work out. But uh, if we can get eight, maybe as many as 10, uh, it's a plus for kids. And that's why any of us are doing any of this, is to get to the kids, help the program through those kids programs and if you're not familiar we need to have a time sometime and i'd be happy to talk to you some what the different slps the the service leadership programs that are sponsored by kiwanis clubs and i i don't believe do you sponsor okay what a key club or uh, circle k or all of the above all of the above <laughs> wow okay did not really i am learning yet yeah. so forgive me for that but we're hoping to add more key clubs, more builders clubs, uh, more CK, CKI groups. Uh, our, our club in Warsaw is just now starting an action club. If you're not familiar with that, that's a group of adults uh, who have disabilities or challenges in life. And it is so rewarding. I gotta be careful, I'll get off track here. But it is so rewarding to see those folks involved and being elected as a president, being <coughs> elected as a treasurer, and finding out that they are going to serve others when they're so used to just being served. And they find that so rewarding, as we would and do also. Uh, a couple, couple of weeks from now, well, a couple of weeks, a month from now, uh, in November is a key leader program, opportunity for key club members, as well as high school members, don't necessarily have to be a key club, to go to a leadership development program. Kiwanis truly is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to improving the world, one community and one child at a time. And if you don't have that memorized, it's a great way to introduce Kiwanis to someone that doesn't know much about Kiwanis. It's a group of volunteers. We're here to help kids. In Indiana, we happen to partner with Riley Hospital, but we partner with kids in lots of different organizations. Questions you might have? Anyway, I'm gonna leave a bunch off of room. No, I do. I love it when I've answered all the questions. <laughs> I also know better. But anyway, any other thoughts? Who, who do we go from here? Would you I'll like? Back. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, we will. I always 
love these looks at where we fit into the big picture. And some days we feel like we're moving the needle just a little bit and we look at 8,000 clubs and 8,000 youth clubs and I, my mind's blown with the number of service hours. Uh, and we're really doing some amazing things together. So thank you. Uh, Bruce, thank you for making the trek down here. I'm glad oh, you could tie in a visit sure. to KI and spend a little time with our members. Uh, thank you for taking uh, the reins today and for sharing all of this wonderful information. Um, a donation will be made in your honor to the Equitable Food Access in Indianapolis Initiative. Thank you. Uh, it convenes residents, community leaders, subject matter experts, and civic organizations to develop a vision for equitable food access that will be translated into achievable strategies. It's a mouthful. <laughs> food, people that yeah. need it. Uh, <laughs> officers, directors, please stay behind for a quick photo. Uh, beyond that, we are adjourned. We will see you at service next week and then back here after that. Thank you.